Hello all of my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the mid-month love readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for the sun, moon, and rising of Leos. I want to give a big shout out to all my Leos out there. I've been uploading the videos with the, or uploading the first videos with those who have been uh, with the most views or the most comments and Leos were definitely one of the top ones. So Again, thank you guys very much. Don't forget to comment, like, and share the videos if you haven't subscribed to my channel. I highly encourage you to do so so you could get the recent or newest updates. Um, also, for those of you guys interested in private consultations in any spell work or any candle magic, definitely look at the description box, uh, email me, and uh, we'll communicate that way. So let's get into the reading. Uh, this is going to be for the monthly readings. Again, like I said, Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Uh, let's get into it. Before I do want to give a big shout out to one of my uh, very close uh, clients. I work with her uh, every single month. Uh, she's just completely a beautiful person, a beautiful soul, Diane Morosco. Uh, I highly encourage you guys to check out her, vi uh, sorry, her books on Amazon, uh, Diane Morosco. She's an amazing author, amazing uh, inspiration and thank you sweetheart for uh, this coffee mug that I got uh, she sent it to me it says Bruja which in English sorry in Spanish it represents um, which I should say English it represents which so anyways let's get into the reading this is going to be for Leo's so let's see what spirit has for you guys for the month of November 2017 spirit what are the messages for Leo's what are the messages for Leo's moon sun and rising Please give me clarity. Speak to me truth and only truth. Show me that which is hidden. For Leos. Show me the cards for Leos. What's coming to them for the month of November 2017. Before I started recording, I did start uh, shuffling. The cards were already shuffled, but I just want to make sure that... Okay, this is the last shuffle. All right, let's see what spirit has for you, Leos. Okay, your first card is the Knight of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, the Three of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, the Lover's Card, the Star Card, the Ten of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the Empress, the Hermit, the Double Card, and the Temperance. Wow. All right, Leos, you guys have a lot of major arcanas for this reading. Let's see what Spirit has for your general energies. Okay, so Leos, uh, for the month of November, family is going to be very important to you. Family and its stability or materialization of stability in regards to business and finances. Um, the Four of Wands is always a beautiful omen in any reading because it speaks about, uh, you know, having the stability that one has looked for or one has desired. Uh, some of you guys may be accomplishing um, projects. If you guys have been working at work uh, with a project or something that you guys have been putting effort towards for quite a while now, you're definitely going to be seeing um you're definitely going to be seeing the outcome uh, by the end of November. So let's get into your reading. Um, again, like I said, you do have a lot of major arcanas and all the major arcanas are crossing uh, from the right all the way to the bottom. So this is telling me um, that there has been resistance in the past. Uh, the past is always to the left and the near future uh, or that which is time fluidity is to the right. So again, um, the right speaks about major arcanas, things that have been kept from you or obstacles that have came your way. All of that's going to be vanishing. All of that's going to be lifted. Uh, you guys are going to, going to start experiencing new beginnings, uh, not just in finances, but also in stability, whether it's family, whether it's a family dynamic, uh, those of you guys that are married as well. So let's get into your reading. You have the Knight of Cups here and the Knight of Cups next to the Seven of pentacles here. This is talking about uh, looking towards uh, almost kind of, I, I wouldn't say fantasizing, but looking towards the past. Uh, it, it could have been um, in regards to 
it could have been in regards to almost feeling like at one point in your life uh, you were very abundant you were moving forward and it's kind of like looking towards the past in a very nostalgic way uh, in the feeling of why is all of this happening to me in regards to again like I said obstacles and things that just keep coming your way Leos um, it's almost a feeling of like one thing after another uh, if you guys have been experiencing again like I said a lot of setbacks or a lot of um, a lot of obstacles in your way whether it's trying to get that job you've been wanting or trying to get the raise or working towards you know a long-term goal and it just it seems as if things just keep getting I would it's it's almost the feeling of like taking two steps forward one step backwards um and again the nine of wands here is definitely you're exhausted you've definitely been putting effort and trying the best you can to move forward but for some reason it just seems as if uh you can't get a break um, but again, like I said, the good thing about this is that that has already happened or you guys are experiencing that. Nonetheless, um, you guys do have many blessings coming your way. Now, you do have the three of swords here with the five of pentacles. So for some of you guys, this could represent walking away from a relationship or that they walked away from you, uh, kind of left you out in the cold. The five of uh, pentacles always speaks about um, being ignored or being blocked, being completely shut down and not really knowing why. Um, but the three of swords here is definitely a third party type of energy. Um, it could be you, Leo, that, uh, it could be you, Leo, that, uh, blocked or, or removed yourself from a person that was putting you in a position of a third party type of energy. You're feeling like they were double dealing, not just with you, but with someone else. For some of you guys, you guys may be dealing with a Capricorn Virgo or a Taurus, an earth sign. Uh, for others of you, you may be dealing with the Gemini or an Aquarius uh, water sign as well as I do have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio up here and um, Aries as well or Sagittarius. You guys pretty much have all the signs here. Uh, so again, a lot of the times it doesn't necessarily speak about the sign. They don't have to be that sun, uh, moon or rising. Uh, it could just be the attributes of the person that reflects that of the king of pentacles, for example, or the lover's card, etc. So for those of you guys that have been dealing with an earth sign, um, again, there is, it's almost like having a lot of blockages and having a lot of setbacks. Uh, but I feel that for some of you guys, you walked away from a relationship because you felt, uh, again, like I said, there was double dealings or them uh, cheating on you, basically, with the Three of Swords here. Uh, this could also represent you, that they walked away from you because it was you, Leo, that was double dealing. It could go both ways. It is a general reading. Um, nonetheless, the King of Pentacles here, it's like I see you guys very focused uh, in the business front, which is um, which is a great thing. It's odd. I usually see that uh, with the Taurus or with the Capricorn, but it's almost as if your focus and your determination, it's towards achieving something. So it could be financial stability. It could be success in the in the work field. Um, the King of Pentacles is definitely a person that uh, is very focused and very determined. They're very practical in their dealings and also uh, very, um, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Very... Um, like you have a set goal and you plan it out to a T and that's what you're doing. Um, this could be your energy. Uh, this could be your energy, Leo, uh, taking on the, the characteristics of the King of Pentacles. Very practical, very pragmatic, but also uh, very careful in the way you deal with either people in regards to relationships. Uh, you are a little bit defensive, as I do see the Seven of Wands here. Um, so for some of you guys, if you guys are currently in a long-term committed relationship and there's been a feeling of doubt, a feeling of that there, you know, that there's a third party energy there, that's the reason why the Seven of Wands could be represented here. It's like you're looking towards the Seven, you're very protective of yourself and very carefully watching what they're doing. The Lover's card here speaks about having to make a choice. So for some of you guys, it could be in the business field. It could be opportunities coming your way and having to choose from two different options. Or it could also represent to have you're at crossroads at the present time wanting to decide whether you want to continue on putting effort in this relationship or whether 
it's best to walk away. Now, the Three of Swords up here with the Five of Pentacles is definitely talking to me about um, there was a third party type of energy, but it's more so uh, having to do with the fact that one walked away from the other. So it could have been you or it could have been them that walked away from you. But with the lover's card here and the star next to it, if you've been hoping or wanting for them to reach out to you, the message is definitely coming through for the month of November as the lover's card is um, having to choose or being at crossroads, but also making a choice. And the star card is that of hope or desire or wanting them or pulling them towards you. And I definitely do see communication coming through as the empress is here, which is with the loving uh, type of message. Um, the, the, almost them confessing or for some of you guys it could represent that the person you've been dealing with confesses to you guys that they've that they've cheated on you or that they were talking to someone else and the reason I say that is because under the three of swords is the lover's card and then your card is right at the center so it's like you're gonna have the option whether to walk away from this relationship or whether you want to put forth the effort in this relationship now the ten of wands is talking to me about feeling stuck, feeling burdened, but all of that's going to start to shift and pull the weight. Um, again, like I said, as the month of November progresses, you do have the hermit card here. The hermit card to me represents all about the spiritual, but also your spirit guides. So spirit has been protecting you and guiding you. They're guiding you towards success and victory as you do have the empress and the devil card here. Now, the devil could be a representation of obsessive behavior, but next to the empress is if you've been looking for stability and you've been asking for uh, putting effort, again, like I said, in regards to business and finances, if you've been really putting effort into your business or into the company you work for, you're finally going to be able to materialize. The devil card does represent the materialization and everything that is mundane, which is that of the practical. So again, the empress next to the devil to me represents all about um, being able to achieve, not just achieve, but actually conquer that which you've been wanting to get, which whether it's prestige, whether it's money, whether it's advancement, whatever it is, there's definitely an offer coming through. Again, like I said, now you do have the temperance here and the temperance card is right at the bottom. So there is a need for you guys to find balance. There's a need for you guys to uh, again, like I said, if you've been dealing with a partner that's been a sneaky partner, or has been cheating on you in the past, uh, you need to balance yourself. I feel almost like you guys are losing yourselves in this relationship. So there is a need for clarity. The temperance asks you, uh, it's time for you. There's absolutely nothing wrong with wanting and growing and desiring or even fantasizing about growth and advancement, whether it's business, whatever it may be. There's nothing wrong with that. It becomes an issue when it's obsessive behavior. It becomes an issue when you overdo it, whether it's alcohol, whether it's drugs, whatever it may be. Uh, again, like I said, uh, be very careful about that. Uh, be very watchful about that and be balanced. That's that's what it is at the present time. There's a need for you to get balance and clarity. Again, like I said, now I do see as the general energy here with the four of wands, you're definitely going to be able to accomplish uh, again, like I said, whether it's the finishing of a project that's gonna that's become almost overbearing to you guys, kind of like one obstacle after the other, you're gonna start to experience the second to third uh, week of November, all of that clearing out and getting momentum and finally being able to achieve or being able to accomplish that project, not only with great accolade but also. Uh, people respecting you or admiring you for what you did, congratulating you. Uh, I do see a lot of offers coming in in regards to either um, getting, um, what's the word, uh, getting promotions, getting opportunities. I see two opportunities coming your way with the lover's card here because it's right next to you. Uh, Leo as a queen of wands and from that you're going to be able to balance yourself. You're going to be able to get um, you know the balance that you've been wanting whether it's you've been lacking uh, money whether it's lacking uh, finances um, business not you know if you guys haven't been working for a while all of that's going to uh, manifest for you guys in the middle of November going all the way to December I do see the star card here next to the Empress so again like I said if you guys have been praying and asking for know that it has been heard and opportunities are going to start coming your way 
for the month of November, Leos. Now, I do want to get clarity in regards to this temperance, so give me one second. Spirit, give me clarity in regards to the temperance card. Why is the temperance card here? Why is the temperance card here? Please give me clarity. Give me clarity in regards to the temperance card. Why is the temperance card here? Okay, so the reason why you're needing a balance in regards to this temperance, it can also be, the temperance speaks about balance, but it can also speak about timing. And I feel that for you guys, it's timing. Uh, the temperance is here to remind you that even though you have been going through difficulties or even though there's been some obstacles in your way, know and understand that it is all a process, okay? It's like universe testing you. You want it, here it is. How bad do you want it? Do not hesitate about it and keep pushing forward. I guarantee you that you guys will have success and you'll start to experience success through the um, means of income, whether it's uh, income increase or whether it's the stability of actually walking away from a relationship that no longer serves you and being able to manifest a long-term committed relationship, something that works great for you. Now, uh, again, like I said, t uh, temperance does speak about timing and at the present time, it's taking you a while to be able to take on the qualities of that of the emperor, which is a person that is successful, a person that is, uh, you know, that runs basically their empire, whether it's uh, the physical home or whether it's a business or whether it's growth and advancement in the company you work for. But that is definitely coming up for you guys. And again, there's a message coming through in regards to uh, prosperity and advancement. So you do have the empress here and you do have the emperor so these two cards are major arcanas again there's major transformation for you guys okay when the when it comes out uh it's like the energy of the masculine and the feminine so what this means is that universe is going to conspire to bring to you that which you're trying to achieve or what you're trying to materialize and having both energies um uh, it's an, an, not just an amazing omen but it's also like almost a certainty behind it that you will succeed okay but you have to work on letting go of what no longer serves you. As the Five of Cups speaks about the mourning or the loss of a relationship or a person that is no longer with us uh, could have been a person that uh, you hold dear to your heart. For some of you guys, it could be that you guys uh, lost a loved one uh, recently. And with this Three of Swords here, that's the reason why there's heartbreak. That's the reason why uh, there is a lot of you know, feeling of hurt, feeling of not being able to move forward. And the devil card could represent that of uh, using escapism. So whether it's drugs, whether it's alcohol, etc. And the five here is just clarifying that there is a feeling of, again, like I said, um, you know, nostalgia, uh, hurting, uh, almost sadness and depression when you are under the influence. I know this is a specific, it's not a specific, me sorry, it's a specific message. It may not resonate with everyone, but it is necessary that I mention that. So again, like I said, having the empress here and the emperor right at the bottom of your reading, uh, just know and understand that spirit is working through you and for you. Keep that in mind and understand that when you start seeing manifestations throughout the month of November, I want to say third week of November going into December, first week and second week of December, know and understand that everything was everything that happened and all the obstacles that came your way there was a higher purpose for that okay i hope you guys enjoyed this reading like share and comment my videos if you haven't subscribed subscribe to my channel and again if you guys are interested in private consultations definitely look at the description box below we'll speak to each other in the middle of the month of november okay bye